Yeah, what's poppin' guys? Sizzle here. Back at gun with the bronze to GM tank. Uh, last episode, we got our first rank up from bronze 4 to bronze 3. This episode, we'll see what happens. Very curious. Oh, there we go. The tank queues in bronze are actually longer than the ones in like masters and GM. I guess because the rule is actually more fun here. So there's more tank players in bronze than probably anywhere else. Either way. Here we go. With Poopsner. And Yayo PG. Space Mango. Yun. Oh, Ren player. Interesting. Is he public? He's not. Unfortunate. I think a lot of people in this these games are going to be private profile, not because they're trying to hide something, but just because they're... Like... That's, that's the default, <laughs> which is kind of stupid. I think private profiles being the default is stupid. I think they should default to public and you should be able to make them private if you really want to, but then everyone will know that you know, you're making it private, so you have really something to hide. Right now, it's it's kind of annoying, because like, you know, even people that aren't little bitches are just having it private by default and they don't even know. There's a lot of just toxic people who keep it private, you know, they hide the fact that they drop from GM5 to Diamond 2 or something. Uh, and then there's talk shit. Or they'll just say, yeah, like, oh, I'm GM1 peak on this account, this isn't even a smurf or anything. And it's like, what are you doing in my fucking Masters 5 DPS skin? Well, that was me being stupid, I mean, I forgot I'm in bronze lobbies. Because notice how my whole team is way back here playing Widow Sightlines, I need to actually play with those widow sight lines instead of walking up and expecting people to heal me. That was a big mistake on my end. You should not expect on ladder, you should not expect your teammates to do a lot. You were definitely at fault. If you believe that your teammates should be doing things and then they don't do those things, it is your fault. Yeah, I just gotta live by this turret. Okay, bruh. That, oh, the turret's still up. Let me go to that. Okay. I like. I'm not gonna solo this tank. But notice how the the diva need to come back to her Ana instead of just standing there expecting heals. That is the bronze player death. I'm right here. I'm notice how I'm backing up toward my Moira specifically. It's not like uh, something you normally have to do or think about, but when you're in different elos, it becomes more and more important. Especially the lower you go down, the, like, like I, I've said this in another episode, the lower you go, the more your supports want to heal you, but the less they actually will, which is kind of funny. Uh, I mean, that's always worth. I don't care what elo I'm in, I don't care how good the tank is, what the fuck. You can see they're saying come to me for healing because they want me to come to them for heals. And then they lost me on top of that. Did you just jump on my fucking head? That's crazy, man. Let's go. I don't know. Did Widow walk off the map? What happened? How did Widow kill her, so? Interesting. Not who I meant to pin, but it's not bad to pin people. Is my team good? I need to help my team here. Uh, chillin'. Notice how I'm not asking my supports for heals or anything. They're just, by default, they're looking to heal me when they see me. Obviously, you'll have some games where that's not the case, and those games are going to be harder than most, but a large majority of even like your bronze games, that'll be the case, that your supports are genuinely trying to heal you, and you're the one making it not possible. You're either too deep in, you know, not as deep as they are, like, you, you gotta pay attention to what they're cooking. I kinda feel bad for doing that, but that's a learning experience, that tank, that is how I, by the way, that's how I learned my Ryan pin spots, I didn't learn it by just pinning randomly until I found it, every, almost every Ryan pin spot that I found is somewhere I have been pinned off, 
because once you get pinned off, you're like, oh, damn, you could do that? <laughs> and I found some pretty cool pins that way. There's a lot of cool stuff out there. Uh, this map right here, well, I think is bottom three for run maps. Uh, the thing is, Ruins is a pretty decent run map, and then uh, Lighthouse is probably my top like 10 or something, at least top five, maybe even. Uh, Lighthouse is really fun and solid for Ryan. But unfortunately, it's tied in with this well map, which is one of your worst experiences on Ryan, so it's, it's very interesting. But yeah. Let's see what they cook up. I'm kind of shocked they haven't won Arisa yet, but they probably just don't like the- oh well. I'm gonna say they probably just don't like the hero or something. Oh no, wait do I- yeah, I almost- I almost got got by Bronze Arisa. I need to be more careful. Ah, see this is the classic on a given up moment. A lot of people on Bronze do just give up, and winning a 4v5 is way harder than winning a 3.5. Whatever. We're, we're like, we're you four people on your team that are doing very little. You know, like the, I'm sure they're mad at this junk ref going 0 and 6, but it's like, he's putting out damage. He's still doing things. I'd rather have some guy putting out damage and have no kills, because at least I can capitalize on that random damage if I, you know, position correctly and think correctly. Let me stay by this turret. I was healing turrets. This is my lifeblood. I'm luckily, it's not in a completely awful position. Nice. Okay, so my team's gonna want to hold up here. I'm just gonna keep going back to this. Tr Wait, is Hurricane healing from me? Oh, it's because I jumped. Interesting. There's the Bastion, but I I'm just not scared of. I'll be real. Bronze Bastion Orisa does not scare me at all. And like GM, that shit is beyond annoying and, and something I kind of am concerned about. But in Bronze, I have no qualms with that composition. Hey, this guy's just alone. I think Izana gave up to be honest with you. It's like they're not really leaving spawn or anything. I didn't even fire strike that red. And I got myself killed, but it also just doesn't matter. That's the beautiful thing. Realistically, even if they win this fight in the next one, no one's gonna give a shit. Cause we just, we just win. Like, their- their mental is mainly shattered, I feel, at this point. I'm sure that Junkrat actually probably, genuinely, has no different thoughts right now than he did at the start of the game. But I'm also sure a lot of their team has a very different outlook on the, the potential outcome of this game. Oh, that Mercy Pocket keeping them off. Damn. Mercy Pocket at Bastion, though, I think even in Bronze they'll make that annoying. I mean, not like impossible to play against. I'm, uh, I just walked in 1v5 because I figured it's bronze. I might be able to do that. Uh, but definitely more annoying. But yeah. Support here, killing the Junker. That that guy is, he's bronze. He's, we wanna, uh, their, their Junker's what I expect to see in bronze, and there's nothing wrong with that. There, beautiful. With the training bot. <laughs> there you go. That's even if I'm putting out the GDD. People here are just nice. I gotta endorse that. That's good behavior. But yeah, there's another one. You know, six and one. Pretty good record overall. A lot of this map was just you know, pinning their tank off the map because he doesn't know the pin spots. But hopefully, he started learning. Is good. There's a lot to learn from that match if you're that Ramantra. But nothing, if nothing else, whenever you get pinned off the map by Ryan, that is, a, is an educational experience. You know what to not do next time. Either way, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.